thought I'd do an update on the uh, uh, rust protection paint test. So, started this just the end of January and uh, built onto it since. So, this is uh, a half decent two pack epoxy, which, apart from the couple of bits down there, is, has stayed pretty good. This was bare steel when I put it out, put it out there. Uh, so, that's the epoxy painted over rusted metal. You can see uh, probably where the little rust peaks are poked through the paint so they continue to come through. So what I might do is just, next time I've got the epoxy out is sand that down and give it another coat and see if two coats will do it. This is Halford's normal primer which is uh, you can see is just letting the rot through. All these had the same sort of coating of paint. This is a Halford's weld through primer which is still going strong. I think there's a slight hint either something coming through there or something has dripped on it and need a stain. Uh, around the edge here you can see how the rust is starting to creep up to it where it was sort of sprayed thinly over the edge. This is a copper based primer, uh, not brilliant, so letting the rust through. This is supposed to be a rust resistant paint. Um, I can't remember which one it was now because it's, uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a sharpie has rubbed off of it. Uh, and this is supposed to be uh, uh, epoxy. Both these are supposed to be epoxy and they're clearly not that brilliant because they've allowed the moisture to come through. So this has just been sat out here now since the end of um, January and so far the cheaper of the paints apart from that one. This is the cheapest of the paints really and it's performing brilliantly and that's sort of six months of pretty grotty weather. It's only recently the weather's got tidy. So I hope, hope this is useful. So I'm putting quite a lot of faith in this. This, this well through must be fairly high zinc content, which is, I can only really presume, acting like a cold galvanized because it must be letting moisture through because it's not an epoxy paint, but it's performing brilliantly.